and joining us via a Skype interview is Pastor Pandey Charles, who is the pastor in charge of Regional Region 11 RCCG. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning. And it's God good bless you. Amen. And it's good to have you on the show. Uh, first things first, what is the essence of Good Friday? Thank you very much. Um, Good Friday is as far as I believe really the greatest season of the Christian calendar, as it were. Because the Good Friday really is about God coming to work out his salvation plan on earth. Mm. We do appreciate Christmas when Christ was born, but Good Friday really is the day that Jesus, in spite of the pains, in spite of all the obvious challenges of his humanity, decided to submit to the will of God and decided to pay the price mm. of being crucified, to pay the full ransom for the redemption of mankind back to God. So it's very crucial day, very important day, a day of reflection on the depth of the price that Jesus had to pay for our redemption. A time to ruminate as it were on the love of, Christ, of God that made him to send his only son to die such a gruesome death for my sin, for your sin, for the sin of mankind so that we can be reconciled back to God. Mm -hmm. So Good Friday is very, very, very important day as it were. You would agree that uh, coronavirus has posed a great challenge in terms of people not being able to gather for the celebration of uh, uh, Good Friday and, of course, moving on. Uh, would, would your congre congregants, for instance, be able to still get the benefits of all the activities of this day uh, just by tuning in online? Uh, yes, indeed, as I was thinking about Good Friday this morning during my, my morning uh, devotion, I got to look at 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 8, that did say that if uh, the princes of the world had really known about the wisdom of God, they would not have crucified Jesus. The bottom line of what I'm saying is that um, God is always one step ahead of the devil. And so when this happens, as much as we want to be with our congregation, God has given us the possibility of being with them through online, with all the challenges of the Nigerian environment. Mm -hmm. And um, indeed for us, throughout the week, every day at 12 noon, we've been in contact with our people uh, and Easter 15 minutes time where we relate to them. And this will be no different today. We're going to sing a lot of of, um, of, of of Good Friday songs and um, this Chris Easter, by the grace of God, will still be sending the same hope, the same message of resurrection to our people. Mm -hmm. And I know it will be well, yeah. Yeah, Pastor, you would agree, as many people would say, that Nigeria is a very religious country, you know. Uh, how are you able to encourage your congregants, those who, you know, look up to you as a pastor, you know, as a custodian of their faith, who takes uh, care of their spiritual needs? How are you able to encourage them that, you know, uh, physical presence this time, if, as much as it is not possible that they are still, the celebration is still the same? How are you able to convince them? Yes, um, reality is that um, our people know that we have them at heart. You see, there is a relationship with the pastor house with the people that makes them know that we are more concerned about their well-being. For example, prior to this, my greatest concern was more about if you uh, the, the, the almost 50% uh, of my congregation who I cannot reach simply because either they do not have a good phone or they do not mm. have data for their, they, um, for, for their phones and all that. And we're trying our best to reach them. But once we have told them, and they've been with us in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, there are a lot of, of, of ways we've been able to reach our people through our general overseer, through us at our local levels, our online platforms. And, they, and uh, we use Zoom, we use uh, all manners, you know. It is teaching us a new way, as it were, and uh, by the day it's getting better. And we pray with them, 
they have platforms for calling us back if they need to talk to us they need to have a special prayer so within the limitations even though this is not the ultimate way we would have loved it but we are doing our best and the people we are keeping them and i want to use the opportunity it's very important to make it clear that sometimes people do not or uh, society does not want to appreciate the role of the pastors in the lives of these people and um, that creates a problem in planning because most times they just think we are nuisance as it were we are people who are just out to try to make out some some money out of the poor and therefore they don't know that these people we give them things like today from our own congregation we have our channels of reaching out we are sending money to people we are sending resources to them in our own little way hmm. so spiritually our people are upbeat and we are doing everything possible and they know that god is in control finally on this we are very sure that this pandemic will come to pass mm -hmm. it doesn't matter and what is our hope the mercy of god god is going to show mercy we will do everything we need to do we will make our hygiene okay we will do social distancing and ultimately god is going to have the last say all right. Thank you very much, Pastor uh, Pande Charles there. And thank you for holding the people of God in prayer too. Thank you. We are praying for you too. God bless you.